it is easy to order some stuff off of Amazon and you get to look at the 5,000 reviews of what you're about to order. That is not so easy to do on your criminal case. And when you are shopping for a criminal defense attorney, this can be rough and it affects the outcome of your case and it affects the outcome of your future, right? So I'm gonna give you four very important things to keep in mind when you are trying to find the right defense attorney. The first one is pretty obvious, folks. Make sure that they do criminal defense and criminal defense only. I respect you folks that do personal injury and if somebody slips and falls in Publix, you can do all that. But I don't want that person handling a complex, you know, criminal racketeering case. If you do criminal and that's all you do, that's what I would want on my side in my corner if I'm accused of a crime. If you do divorce and you do other things, I'm happy for you. That's fantastic. In my corner, I want somebody that is only doing criminal cases, okay? So that's the first thing I'd be looking at. The second thing I'd be looking at is something similar, and that is I wanna know about their experience on your type of case, okay? Because yeah, maybe all you do is criminal defense, but have you done a trafficking in fentanyl case before? Have you done a racketeering case before? Et cetera, et cetera. You need to ask these questions. I highly recommend you ask. I know you've been doing criminal defense for this many years, but have you defended this? Have you defended that? Very important because everybody's experience is different, right? And I was a public defender back in 1993. That's when I started defending criminal cases. And they started me like in a misdemeanor court. So when I first started, I had no felony experience because I was stuck in a misdemeanor court. And then they moved me to like the traffic court where all I did was DUIs for like a whole year of my life. I just did DUIs. This was back in like 94. You couldn't ask me to do a trafficking case back in 93 or 94. Yeah, I've been doing nothing but criminal for years, but I never did a trafficking case. So please make sure that your attorney has experience doing your type of case, very important. Now, the third thing I want you to look into, and this is gonna be a little tough to figure out, but I want you to assess that potential attorney's communication skills, okay? Because if I get complaints and you guys call me and you are represented by some people that I've known for 20 and 30 years here locally in Central Florida, and you're like, they won't return my call. They're not very nice. They're condescending. They won't talk to me. They won't talk to my family. They won't, they won't, they won't, they won't. Up front, you're going to need to find a way to assess their communication skills. For those of you looking for love out there on the apps or whatever the dating scene is nowadays, communication skills are so important, aren't they? And the communication style that they have, it just might not fit you. For example, for me, I like to talk on the phone and I like to text. If you're somebody that likes to email all the time, I'm not checking my email all the time. It's not a bad fit, but if you want me to respond quick, you need to not be so much of an email person and you're gonna need to be more of a text and calling person. And I know some of you don't wanna talk on the phone and that's fine because I like texting because I could be in court and I hate to say it, but sometimes when I'm bored in court, I'm gonna look at your text and I might be able to answer your question right then and there, even though I can't talk to you on the phone while I'm waiting my turn, right? So communication skills are very important. Look at the Google reviews. Is anybody complaining about the communication skills? Look at how they treat you in the hiring process. Are you talking to them? Are you not talking to them? Some of you, you might be talking to the salesperson, like not even the attorney that's assigned to you. You might be talking to like some head partner that rounds up all the sales and sells you on their experience, but then your actual attorney hasn't talked to you yet, that's not a good sign. Make sure you're talking to the people that are gonna handle your business. And are you talking to assistants too much, case handlers too much? Again, this is gonna be a problem for you. If you want an open line of communication between you and your attorney, you might be able to get a good idea of how good or bad that is up front. Pay attention up front, okay? Finally, the fourth, fourth thing that I think you should pay attention to when you're hiring an attorney is, are they local? I know that when you Google something, what's amazing is if you Google Orlando arrests for DUI, right? I guarantee you some people from Miami are actually gonna be listed. Some people that practice law like down in Key West are literally gonna be listed. And I love Key West. 
it's absolutely a great place. But for my Orange County DUI, I am not going to hire somebody that is eight hours away that has never met my judge and has never met the prosecutors here in Orange County. So you can love a certain location, but I don't recommend hiring an attorney from that location if that attorney has no experience in the county that you're dealing with. So I want to know from this person that you're hiring, like, do you practice in front of this judge very often? Are you familiar with these prosecutors, et cetera, et cetera. Do not get some attorney that has to drive two hours to get to your courtroom unless that attorney is very familiar. Oh yeah, I know that judge. I'm in front of that judge every other day. I just drive a lot and I know these prosecutors okay that's fine but it is not fine to just not even ask them the question because maybe they've been practicing for decades but have they practiced in orange county for decades that could be an issue i want to know that issue you need to know that issue those are my four little tips for finding an attorney and of course my name is john gidry i have been defending criminal cases here in central florida for 31 years now depending on when you're watching this. I want you to give my office a call if something bad happened to you in Central Florida. And if not, you're just watching this, that's cool too. Would you hit like the subscribe or whatever button you can hit to support us? That would be helpful too. And I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a good rest of your day.